are. And I think uh, that might be a, a close link to, um, to people and what they want to do in the forest is really important. And it actually also brings me then to the idea of trees as actors, agency of trees. And not I think the team that has come this year stronger as before. Giving a, a right to trees, giving a voice to trees, speaking for the trees, speaking with the trees. I think this is another interesting part of participation. It's not only people participation, it's also tree participation. And the seventh word is direction. And we heard today about visions and uh, knowing where we want to go, how we want to contribute as a field. Um, and I think the Zagreb actually was a wonderful example of that. I don't know if you realize, but in the opening session, we had a planner, we had a landscaper, a landscape architect, a landscape designer, and we had a forester. And all three of them were talking about how Zagreb was driving the open forest forward, how the ministry of creation was doing that. And there were nuances. Some of us realized that they had a little bit of different message, but they were actually working towards the same goal. And I think that sense of direction of creating better cities is not something we should be embarrassed for. To have a job where you actually can make a real difference and make the world a better place is something that we should be extremely proud of. But it comes also with something else, the keyword that I'll mention in the end. Then there's the keyword of connection. Uh, and of course it's about us, right? It's about connecting with old friends, new friends, new colleagues. Some of us have come to the forum and have seen a career develop because of it. I'm a really good example of that. Um, but of course it's also about connecting trees and forests, arboriculture, urban forestry, landscape architecture, and other Research and practice, people and trees, communities and nature. So connection, I think, is really a word that you can almost draw from every single presentation and contribution. And of course, the fact that we had quite a bit of focus on, for example, the European Arbor Culture Council, Arbor Culture Practices, is really a sign also that we really want to make sure we don't lose that, that part of, um, of urban forestry, of working with trees in the environment. This is also Arbor Culture. And the ninth word, we're getting to the end here, is expectation. So that's the, the, the caveat that says for direction. A lot is expected from us, urban forestry people. There's high expectations from communities, politicians, from the media, from other professions. But I think that's a good sign because the fact that there's expectation from us means that we're at the table more and more. And I think my own experience with the 33300 rule is really the kind of tool for opening the door to talk about trees is a great example. So let's be professional, let's not over um, state our messaging. Let's be careful and really focus on, on the real benefits of trees, the contextual benefits of trees. Uh, we don't have to overemphasis. We can just say what is actually fact and what is truth uh, in this sense. And use it um, for making the cities better, but also use it for our own benefits. Because when you have an expectation, there's also a chance for us actually to grow and develop. And finally, the final word, which I think is also a very effort word, is celebration. So I think EFU is, of course, a meeting, it's a platform, it's a network, it's an association, but it's also a celebration. An annual celebration of urban forestry, of the urban forestry community in, in the world, in Europe. Um, and I think one thing is really important for us, let's not forget to celebrate. When we plant a new tree, when we have a new forest, when we 